It's been a couple of days since Texans quarterback CJ Stroud has been treated for a concussion. This happened during Sunday's game. As we wait to find out if he will be ready for this Sunday's game against Tennessee, we want to talk about the injury. Joining me this morning is neuropsychologist with UT Health, Summer Ott. Summer, thank you so much for coming on the show. We do appreciate your time. Of course, thanks for having me. You know, I want to bring this conversation back to the beginning and define what a concussion is. So a concussion will result when there is a significant blow to the head or body and that often results in some obvious signs to people who are maybe the spectator, the um, physician on the sideline, the athletic trainer. And when that occurs, there's mental status things like confusion, in some cases, loss of consciousness. The other things the athlete or the patient may report are feeling um, dizzy, having a headache, maybe there's blurry vision. So no two concussions are alike. They're definitely unique and they can manifest and look different in different people. Yeah, I recall uh, during high school, my brother uh, had two concussions, one not so severe, uh, but then the next one that came a few months later was very significant to the point it was accompanied with amnesia, if I'm recalling uh, this correctly. But it, I, I remember doctors, I, I don't know if you, are they grades or levels of concussions? So experts in concussion don't necessarily rely on concussion grading systems anymore. For mm. one, there's so many. I think at one point uh, the research was indicating that there was like 12 different grading systems. So um, certainly how someone presents after the concussion is important, but really where um, clinicians are most focused on is what is the athlete or patient, what is their symptom presentation, their well-being mm. looking mm -hmm. like days after the injury. And that makes perfect sense. This, of course, was years ago, so uh, I understand things would change by now. Um, does age play a factor on how bad a concussion could be? That's a really great, great question. Um, there was some earlier research to show that babies, infants, children, when they had a head injury or concussion, may actually have more resilience or be able to recover more quickly. But really, contrary to that, the research now has really indicated that, let's say if we compare like an adolescent to a collegiate athlete and then compare a collegiate athlete to a professional athlete, it's actually the professional athletes that are recovering more quickly. Mm. So um, the idea is that age may be a protective factor there mm. And I'd like to point out to our audience that don't be alarmed that many adolescents do have symptoms more than just a week, that, which is also a kind of a popular belief that most adolescents may take three weeks before symptoms resolve. I was just going to ask you, you know, when we're talking about pro ball, pro athletes, you know, they have a team of spectators. They have a team of, of, of coaches watching them, um, keeping a close eye on them. What would you suggest parents should be on the lookout for when it comes to their child playing sports, maybe engaging in that contact and perhaps could have suffered a concussion maybe a week prior and not even know it? Right, um, so good point. Um, many of our youth sports don't have athletic trainers who are on the sidelines caring for our athletes or even team physicians. So it is many times up to the parent to recognize these signs and symptoms. So if there was any significant blow to the head or body that happened during a sport competition or even you know, most of the time concussions actually happen on playgrounds or even in practice, mm -hmm. um, you have to kind of keep your eye out, right? So you want to make sure you remove them from play. You want to have some careful set of questioning occurring about about how they're feeling and don't just leave it at that once they get home even after they've been to school maybe the next day you need to carry on that conversation and and even alert the teachers to start looking out for any things that might be different in their child do experts still suggest parents or people pay attention to uh, people's eyes uh, after any sort of potential concussion Right, well there's many things and, and and I think what you're indicating is that sometimes people get concerned about pupil changes and so yeah. that can actually um, kind of indicate that there's something more serious going on in the brain, mm. like um, a bleed or skull fracture. So that is kind of a more serious indicator. Any change like that, I would also add if there was any vomiting, symptoms are significantly worsening the athlete, the patient can't really communicate well. Those are, you know, telltale signs a person needs to be evaluated at higher level of care in the emergency room. But most of the time, concussions, particularly in athletics, don't really have that feature. It's more or less what's invisible. It's what we don't see that kind of 
of this scary that if we don't ask the right questions can be overlooked. Yeah. All good points. Summer out with UT Health Houston. Thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Of course. Thank you.